What's going on guys, it's Chu here, bringing you a, another review on The Bad Batch. And I gotta say, this episode, or these episodes, better yet, were pretty good. Uh, I like to call these setup episodes. Uh, I'm glad they actually combined these two. Because individually, well, one was better than the other, obviously, and that was episode 11. But episode 10 was mostly getting to see Emery and how things are on Tantus. And I gotta say... Things could not be any gloomer because honestly, they are depressing. I'm very sad for these children who are in this horrible situation. And that's what we focus on. We see these three test subjects as well as an arrival of a child who Cad Bane brought in, which honestly, Cad obviously knows that he, he does what he does, but unfortunately you know i i hate it truly hate that it that, that's how things are with him it's all about the money and speaking of money we see that things are not looking good for hemlock we see that uh tarkin actually calls him and is wanting to know about why he needs so much funding as we know the project necromancer is a top secret thing that maybe even tarkin is not even privy about so i'm not surprised but it looks like hemlock is also working on maybe the origins of dark troopers who knows but he wants all the money he can get and understandably so and so for tarkin to reach out to him it's not a good thing it's definitely not and he's basically been warned that if this project is not going to go in the direction that is basically needed that he's going to become a liability and we know how that the empire handles situations such as that and tarkin is not someone to mess with but back to emery we see that she actually uh, starts to kind of become a little more human we see that she watches as how with well, first she joins scorch with seeing the procedures with C cad and seeing this uh, new specimen sees that it's a child and uh, it feels a bit off about it. She reaches out to Nala Say about all this. And Nala Say was basically saying, you know, I did what I had to to try to protect Omega. I couldn't save them all. And now you're in my position. Emery is in a bad spot, honestly. And so I wouldn't be surprised that at some point later in the, maybe the next couple episodes, we see Emery being the one to break out these children when omega returns because that does happen in this following episode we see that cx2 actually goes finds fee and we see that in the in episode 10 we had hemlock talking to this clone and uh, talking about a trandoshan and we know that who that is that's sid sid's intel on fee did pay out I hate Sid more than ever now, truly do. She is the scum of the earth, and um, it is what it is. And so we see that she does not suspect or had a feeling or an inkling of that someone was on her ship, on Fee ship, but doesn't think too much of it. Unfortunately, we see that this clone is able to track down the following batch and just returns to or arrives to pabu in the same area in which or same cave as where asaj was hiding so and meanwhile we have the batch actually trying to get ready to go and head out they're packing supplies on the marauder everything's you know i feel like they should have been doing this a while ago like when asaj warned them i feel like they should have already started packing the following day and didn't happen and so we see with Omega being tracked down pretty easily by the clone, as well as finding Crosshair and everyone else. We see that he takes out Wrecker and the Marauder, which is unfortunate, truly, because Wrecker does get knocked out by explosive. He said he basically gets knocked out because he saved Gronky or Gonky. And we have him being unconscious because of the explosion. And seeing the Marauder just being destroyed really hurt my feelings, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love that ship. It was a very beautiful ship. Honestly, seeing it gone really breaks my spirit. And um, unfortunately, with Wrecker out, that just leaves all the work for, Wreck uh, for Crosshair and for Hunter. 
as you know now the empire is there they brought their reinforcements and they just basically just light everything on fire we see the destruction of boats people's houses being ransacked things are not looking good omega of course is on the hiding uh, wrecker is basically being looked at by az he's unconscious and we have you know hunter basically kind of telling crosshair and her look you gotta hide i'm gonna go see if i can find a ship and get us out of here unfortunately hunter also kind of runs into his own issues we see that he almost successfully takes the ship over and we see that cx2 takes out the pilot of the ship that he was on he's okay we see that he lands in the water no big deal however you know this puts a really bad wrench into their plans it's a bit unfortunate also i want to give uh you know props to shep you know he in this episode being the mayor of the island you know he could have died easily but he honestly was just you know gun ho like what in the world why are you attacking my people and uh, he could have died honestly like props to him stepping up being the leader of his people unfortunately that didn't mean much in the end because we know that their objective is to find omega and this dude is cold he said he basically would do almost anything he had to in order to achieve his goal and uh he does and speaking of omega and crosshair you know as they're with wrecker you know they start discussing what they need to be doing and the problem is this Omega offers the worst and only solution that they have, and that is that she returns to Tantas, let herself be captured, sparing the people, giving them a chance to regroup, but we see that her idea is that I'll keep a tracker on me, and you can track the ship, and we can get the coordinates to Tantas because we need to get back there. Anyway, so we, we haven't been able to successfully find it, so let me be captured and for Crosshair, that is the worst thing ever. He does not want her to be captured. He doesn't want her to be returned there. Especially now with things being on a time crunch. We know that with Hemlock, you know, he, he needs results. He needs to present this to the Empire. Or else, you know, they'll cut that project and not worry about it. Uh, unfortunately, though, Crosshair lets her. He's still angry. He's still willing to, like, still kind of be a spotter. Maybe even tries to take out the clone. Unfortunately, Omega, you know, gets taken. And as she's leaving, we actually see that her stuff gets confiscated. And it's up to Crosshair now to get the shot to get onto his ship to track it. Unfortunately, F53% of accuracy comes back and haunts him. And he misses. So now we see that kind of... We don't see his face, but we kind of see that body, you know, like his body just basically deflate because he's missed his shot. He's not able to get it. And now we see how she's basically being taken away. And there's very little to no hope for Crosshair. And what sucks is, you know, him feeling defeated, Wrecker being unconscious, the the team, or I mean, sorry, the, the people on the island feeling defeated after losing almost everything. And then we have Hunter who interacts with Batcher and we see that he has no idea what's going on. Like, I'm sure uh, whenever he sees Crosshair, he's going to get angry. They're going to look at each other, probably be furious. And it's just going to be a whole lot of emotions. So Omega, unfortunately, has been taken back. Successful mission for CX2. And uh, it's rough. It's an honestly rough episode. But... Of these two episodes, I'd probably give it a combination of a 6.7. Not bad, but not great either. The second episode, or the first episode being a little lower. And, you know, I feel for those kids, you know. And now Omega, Omega might even rile them up. So who knows? It, it might be something kind of cool. Those kids aren't Jedi. We know that. Those kids are just, you know, have a high midichlorian count. Enough to be noticed. So we'll see. It, things are going to get spicier from here on out, guys. But let me know what you guys think. As always, you'll stay safe, take care of yourselves and others. And I will catch you all later.